What's up, guys? Ah, okay. Got another mystery tackle box. <clears throat> this one I've opened. I got it. Today's Tuesday. I got it on Saturday. So, yeah. I got it like three days ago. There's no chance that I'm not going to at least uh, open it up and peek at it in three days. So, I opened it up and looked at it, but I did not take anything out of it. I put everything back in. I just wanted to see what was in it. So, um, I'm now going to do an unboxing video of the uh, Mystery Tackle Box from uh, MysteryTackleBox.com, ShotCarls.com. Um, I actually wasn't going to get this one. I couldn't really afford it this month, but uh, I, they, they sent it before I had a chance to. Hmm. I went fishing today. That's my um, fish brain app. I went fishing today and I actually caught a fish. This is the first time I caught a fish in like four outings. So uh, this, this skunk is officially over with. I actually caught two fish. The second one I caught was my first topwater frogfish ever. Um, it was a Walmart bait that I got. It was a uh, what is there? What is the, what is the Walmart brand? The, the trail, the, the whatever trail brand is. Uh, that's the, the fish that I or the frog that I was using. That's why I caught a fish on. But they were they weren't very big. They were like a pound and a quarter, something like that. Anyways, so here is the standard box top. Same deal as usual. We've got the what's inside card. I'm going to leave that up to the side and we'll just get started. We've got the Dibble ticks, Tips every time. Dibble Tips and Tricks from MTV. Um, I'll read through that later. Um, I will say I'm a little less, little less, little less impressed with the, the box. Uh, this month, they asked me to fill out a survey um, about the boxes, and one of the things, that, like really the only bad thing that I had to say about the boxes, that I kind of wish that they would do, um, like they would pay attention to like where you're from in the states. Um, they do, you know, they have different boxes that you can get. They have the bass box, the panfish box, the whatever, you know. But the bass box is the bass box. Well, here's the deal. Like, if I was uh, getting the bass box and I lived in Alabama or Florida or Texas, you know, down in the southern states where the bass uh, tend to be a little larger, um, then a lot of this, then I wouldn't have any issue. The problem is, is I live in Iowa and, uh, you know, a huge bass up here, I mean, at least as far as I can tell, a huge bass up here is five, maybe six pounds, and that's once in a blue moon. You're never gonna, you know, you're hardly ever gonna find one of those. And they're sending me big baits, big baits, like, and that's my only issue. But I, uh, but like I said, I, I, I get the bass box. I, um, I bass fish when I'm at home. When I take the kids, when I take the kids home, and we go uh, uh, fishing up around where they live, uh, then we do the the northern and the stuff like that which the big ba the big baits work fine for that but I can't really use you know I mean I can use some of them but I can't really use the baits around here and that's, that was my only issue well then as you can as you will see um, that continues and in fact it almost seems like it got worse anyways so uh, here's the sticker it's a pretty awesome sticker and yet again uh, I am sorry Tyler you will not be getting my sticker <laughs> this month so um, um, that is, I'm probably going to put that in my car, honestly, so, um, the last month's sticker, the, the, the American flag went on my tackle box, and I'm kind of thinking I'm going to take that off and put it on my back window of my car. So here I have a Booyah bait, which I've used a lot of Booyah stuff, but uh, never this right here, it's a baby, excuse me, Booyah, baby boo jig. So it's a skirted jig with a, with a weed guard on it, um. I will use that. It's pretty nice. I like that. Um, that will work. It's a smaller uh, bait, if you will. Then I've got stickies. Finally, stickies. Yes. 
finally crafted hooks. Number one, wacky rig and drop shot hooks. And uh, I don't know how many are in here. Eight of them, eight pack. And these are... I can't be under, so you can maybe. There we go. All right, so little drop shot hooks. Um, I've been planning on kind of going with the drop shot and trying that. See, seeing how that works around here or whatever. Really stuck on using like spinner baits and stuff though. So, you know, and I like crank baits and I like um, swim baits. So, but I want to get better at like the Texas rig and the and the wacky rig and the drop shot. All right. So here's here's what I was getting at earlier about the the large baits. Um, this is a Mike Buka Buka. Mike Buka, Mike Buka, baby bull shad, 3.75 inch baby bull shad. Uh, it's a neat looking lure. Um, I hope I can use it, and I hope it works. I'm sure it'll work for the uh, for the big toothy um, SOBs when I bring kids home. But uh, handmade bull shad is one of the most revered swim baits on the U.S. U.S. market. Catch Co. spent nearly two years working with Mike to bring a modified version of this revolutionary swim bait to the masses without compromising Mike's demanding quality standards. Catchco.com. I mean, it's a good looking bait and I'm sure I'll throw it. I just hope I get something with it. Okay, so then we're getting to the soft bait, soft plastics. Right. So this is Big Bite Baits. I've gotten some other Big Bite Bait stuff from uh, my Mystery Tackle Box. I like it all. I mean, I like all the soft plastics. These are... These are labelless, but they look like a finesse. Um, I'll set that up beside this. So that'll be the first thing we go over on the, uh, the cheat sheet, if you will. Um, but uh, nice soft baits, anyways. They're, they'll work good for, um, I'm sure that's what those are for. Um, and they'll work good with that, I'm pretty sure. And then I have Excite Baits, which I've also gotten some of these from my... Um, mystery tackle boxes before. This has only got three of them in it. Really? Only got three of them in it. See, and, and, that, and this month, it just kind of seems like I'm... I i do not know. It just doesn't seem as... Uh, as full as uh, as it usually does. Mostly because I peaked it. I peaked it the, at this, this thing, and, the, and this took up a good amount of the uh, $25 the $25, you know, the $25 that the, uh, the box is worth or whatever. But anyways, rambling. These are raptor tail, raptor tail chunk, green pumpkin. Um, they look like a small craw. One of them on the side there. They look like a small craw. Now, those all, I'll use those. I'll probably use them as trailers, to be honest. Um, on my spinners. And then they sent the catalog this time. Um, which is kind of neat. There's a couple things that I actually want to buy um, from Carl's uh, friend of mine at work. She, oh, the Z-Man original chatterbait is $349. Oh, that's club price. I don't know if I'm in the club or not. Anyhow, um, a friend of mine at work, I convinced her to sign up for the Mystery Tackle Box as well. And she, last month, got the Hula Popper 2.0, and I was upset and jealous at the same time. So I kind of want to look and see what their uh, Hula Popper 2.0, what that costs, because I might, I might just order myself one. So anyways, that's everything that I got. Let's go over the, the uh, what's, in, what's inside. All right, so Mike Luca, Mike Bucca, Mike Luca's Baby Bull Shad by Catch Co. This is $14.99. That, that took up 
over more than half, more than half of what the box was supposed to be worth. So that's why I got, you know, I feel like I got shorted on the rest of the stuff because this was so expensive. And it's a nice, and it's a nice lure. I'm not complaining about that. It's just, I'm, I don't, I don't really need lures that big. I don't, I don't use lures that big. So, but I'll, I mean, I'll use it. I'll try it. Stickies, wacky, drops, shot, hooks. Set of eight for five bucks, four ninety nine. So we're at twenty bucks. That's fourteen ninety nine, and four ninety nine is twenty bucks. B uh, booyah. Well, I said I was gonna go over this first, but we'll get to it when I get to it. Booyah, baby boo jig, three twenty nine. Um, it's nice. I'll use it. Uh, excite baits, raptor tail chunk. That's these guys, and that's two fifty for three of them. And then Big Bite Beats Smalley Smasher, which I don't really have any Smallies, at least in my area. So. But they're Smalley smasher, Smashers, and they're not just for Smallies, I'm sure that work otherwise. So we're talking $14.99, $4.99, that's $20. $3.29, that's $23.29, we'll see $23.50. Uh, Excite Baits Raptor, um, $2.50, so we're up to $26. And then Big Bite Beats Smalley Smasher, $1.66. So we'll just say $27, $28. So it's actually got a little bit more value in it than it usually does as far as monetary value goes. But like last week or last month's uh, box, I got I got two crankbaits, um, smaller crankbaits, and I've used them. My son uh, caught a almost three pound bass last weekend with the uh, with one of them that I got in the box last week. I haven't caught anything with the red one yet, but. Um, we used up all of the, I don't even know what they were, they were paddle tail, um, we used them as swim trailers, um, swim bait trailers, or, yeah, trailers for like our, uh, spinner baits and stuff like that, and, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cancel for next month, not because of the box, but just because, um, it's gonna, I don't know, maybe I'll go one more month, but it's gonna start getting cold out, um, and I'm not going to be able to use this stuff. And so I'm going to get these boxes and then I'm just going to like stare at them and uh, wait for the water to thaw out <laughs> so I can use this stuff. But, so I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to waste money. But I might do I might do one more month. We'll see. Um, last week, my son caught a 7 pound. Was it? it was 7.1 pounds, I think. Uh, 7.1 pound musky, and uh, we uh, recorded a lot of it on it for video. You know, video. A couple of us had phones. Me and my brother were both with uh, with him fishing, and recorded the video. And he put that up on YouTube. So um, he used to be Opsy Raider. Now he's Fisherman Raider. Raider. When you watch this video, Fisherman Raider, I'm talking to you. When you watch this video, go down there, put a link down there, put a link to your um, your video and everybody should go check it out it's not a huge musky as far as muskies muskies go it's like 31 inches but it was like seven plus seven plus pounds it was a really pretty fish and we got some cool video of it so um, go check out that video um, I'm gonna have to try to come up with some uh, other stuff to do because I feel like I'm not um, doing videos often enough so uh, I'll see what I can come up with. I'm going to try to um, figure out a way to record while we're fishing. And uh, <laughs> I can't tell if my phone's recording or not. That's my problem. Ah, I do have um, a few things coming from AliExpress. All fishing related. I got some chatter baits. I got some, um, some swim baits. I actually finally won something in their contest. Um, it's not. It wasn't free. They actually, when you win your win their contest, you have to pay one penny. Um, one penny with free shipping. But it's a nice, uh, nice lure that I won from that. Um, my daughter Kaylin lost her rattle trap lure, and she was upset about it. So I ordered a replacement for that. Got myself one as well. Tyler said he wanted a whopper plopper, so I ordered him one. Ordered myself one as well. So I was kind of hoping some of that would come in today before I did this video. Did not show up. And, uh, so I'm going to do my, I'm going to do my darndest to, um, not open them all up so that I can, or maybe even just at least 
record short videos of me opening each one as they come in because um, they were super cheap baits and I hope that they work as well as like the original stuff does. Like the Whopper Flopper, I think I paid two dollars and some odd cents for. It's like a fifteen dollar lure if you buy it uh, at Shields or whatever. The rattle traps were like ninety one cents um, and they were all free shipping by the way. Ninety one cents and those things are like six bucks. Um, the chatter baits, I got three of them for four dollars and some odd cents I don't remember and those are like five bucks a piece um, and then that and then that uh, that lure <clears throat> judging by the prices of all that stuff that I just told you about the lure that I won that I paid one penny for um, I went and looked at the original the, the page if I were to go and buy that lure it, it was between seven and fourteen dollars so I don't know if this thing is going to do backflips for me or if it's going to, I don't know what, I don't know why it'd be so expensive, but on AliExpress, it's like 10 bucks. So this thing is going to be, I don't know, coated in gold, uh, something, something super special about it. Anyhow, that for the third time, fourth time, that's the end of the video for me. You guys have a great day. Smash subscribe, smash like, um, get your friends to watch my videos, and even if they don't watch YouTube, just grab their phone and subscribe <laughs> to my channel. I want more subscribers, so you guys have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye.